Let's start from our previous bases. We have our character with its platformer behavior and we want to be able to double jump two times. Start by going to the events tab and create a new event. Add your first condition. Usually when you are double jumping, it is because we are already in the air jumping, or falling from the jump. Since it can be any either of these two conditions, we need to add a or condition that will allow to check on whatever one of the conditions is true. Once we know that, we need also to know if the player has actually tried to jump again by pressing the jump key. So let's check the key for the jump button, which in this case is the space key. As the name says it, we are trying to implement a double jump, not a triple jump. So that means, we should include a way to limit the number of jumps to the predefined number. To be able to do that, we need to store how many times the player has already jumped. So we will create, associated with the player character, a variable that will hold for us that information. Let's click on player, and then search for variables, and you will develop recommending you a couple of options. In our case we want the value of object variable. As soon as you select it, in the left you will prompt it with the option to select a variable, an operation and a value. But since we don't have any variable we are not able to do anything. So click in button with the arrow pointing up, which you take you to the interface to create new variables. Click on the button add and set the variable name. In our case, jump count, and then at the apply button. You can now select the variable. We want to make sure that we will able to only jump twice, we will check if the variable is less than 2. Now, we must be careful, because although we could think that we are going to validate this condition only once, in reality, since the game is running at 60 frames per second, this condition will be validated multiple times and we don't want that to happen as it would result in the wrong behavior. In order to avoid this, we need to use a special function, from gdevelop, that makes sure that the condition, if met, will only be used one time. Search for trigger in the search box, and you will see the condition trigger once. Okay, now that we have the condition set, we need to actually double jump. For this let's add an action, select the player, and then on the actions list, you can see that we have an action called allow jumping again, which will allow the platform character to jump again. Once we have jumped, we need to make sure that we update the jump counter associated with the player character object, as to make sure that we will be able to jump more. Add another action, select the player, and in the search box type variable. You will see in the short list modify a variable of an object. Select it and in the configuration boxes, select the variable jump count, the operation add and the value 1. This will cause the variable jump count to increase from 0 to 1. So now, we have been able to jump and to cut the number of times that we are able to jump. But, if we don't do anything, we will not be able to perform more than one double jump by game. So we need to reset the value of jump count back to 0 when the jump has finished. When do we know where the jump has finished? Well. If the player is touching the floor, then this means that any jump has concluded. So let's add a new event, and for the condition let's test that the player is on the floor. For the action, set the player's variable jump count back to zero with the same action than previously, but in this case, setting the value to zero. Also, just to make sure, that the value is zero when starting the game, Let's add a new event, where the condition is set to the beginning of the scene and with action of again setting the player's variable jump count to zero. Let's check what we have done and if everything is running correctly. Well, we can move the character. We can jump and, yes we can certainly double jump, and only double jump, the character is not allowed to jump more than twice. I hope that this video has been useful to let you know and understand the double jumping feature. 
If you want to make it yours, try to modify the behavior that we have implemented to perform other actions like for instance, triple jump or any other number of jumps. Let us know in the comments if you are able to do so, and if not, just ask for our help and we will be happy to help you out.